This is a Leica Creos 7009 SL of all Leica models. This is my uh, favourite and my birthday is in November. Let's start off with a look at the garage, 95 times 115 centimetres. Uh, well, not only could you get you a couple of bikes in there, but you can get quite a lot more in there as well. Um, that is an excellent sized garage. Easy access as well, thanks to having two uh, doors. Indeed, the other the door on the other side is of a size which would allow you to uh, uh, get your bikes out as well. The garage will take 250 kilos in weight. Uh, you've got about 490 if you buy the vehicle in this condition. So if you did have 250 kilos in the back, that gives you well over 200 uh, for yourselves and anything you might want to bring with you. There is a double bed over the seating group. Uh, once more, I think there's too many seats around the table, but uh, it is an Italian van, and I know from experience that Italians do tend to do a little bit of entertaining in the vehicle. Now, when you come round here, it gives a very palatial look about it. The light which runs down the side of the wall there, behind which we have the toilet. The lights uh, above, uh, be, uh, below the bed as well, um, coming towards the bed. You've got these steps up to it, nice and easy steps. You've got, as you'd expect, with something like this, you've got two singles, or if you really want, you pull this out, you stick the, the appropriate cushion down there, and you've got an enormous double bed. Obviously, as well, this is a place for keeping some of your stuff. So you can put your shoes in there or whatever else you want in there. Now the hanging space is a bit on the small side. It could be bigger. And if you can see in there, yes, probably. So, and on the other side, we've got some drawers. But very nicely finished. Now, in this case, the toilet and bathroom, the door opens the right way and should you be so desired, uh, it can actually close there as well. Don't know why you want to do that, but you might want to do that. Uh, if you don't want to do that and you still want a bit of privacy, you can pull the slides across. The shower unit has this very attractive blue light to it. Now that's an idea. I might even try and do that in my own van. I think that looks uh, it looks very attractive. Is it practical? I don't know. I'll let you know once I've tried it in my own van. Another nice touch here in the kitchen. There's an oven. I like an oven in a van. Another thing to do with ovens is, you know, when it's really cold, is you can you can put, stick the oven on, you can stick some potatoes in there, and not only do you get the uh, your potatoes done, but you also get your van heated up at the same time. Now, what I would have liked is to see, rather than the telly and that seat there, I'd have rather have had a some hanging space. Having said that, it wouldn't give a great deal of hanging space because the bed would fall down and on, to, on top of it. So really, this needs to push down there and the bed would rest on there. Would that give enough hanging space? Oh, I don't know, uh, maybe not. I think the fridge also is too big, but then I tend to think that about every vehicle. Um, this is a nice one. This strikes me as being more the sort of place you keep your telly in, although admittedly, that looks far more practical. So what about the cost? Well, you're looking at 110,000 euros for something like that, but certainly that would be a very nice vehicle to live in for full timers.